Yeah, hello, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com playing World of Tanks. The tank is a Stug 4. It's a, a German uh, Tier 4 tank destroyer, and the map is Winterberg, also known as Ruinberg. I have around seven German tank destroyers. I bought them all because I can use them to train my crew very quickly. Uh, I, I trained uh, very quickly. I, I share the crew between all of my German tank destroyers. Uh, this is a great tank. I love this tank. I believe I must have won it in one of the campaign missions. So now I usually head towards the middle of the map. And when you play in the middle of the map, you can hit tanks in all directions. I get more kills when I play in the middle of the map. I have better games, but it's a lot more dangerous. On this particular map, it's very vulnerable where that light tank went. So I usually go around the side of the buildings. You have a few trees. Um, you've got more objects to hide behind when you go this way. And I'm going to approach that middle road. Well, I think because if you notice that there's two enemy tanks in the E6 region, um, I know I can get shots on them, so I'm lining up to, to shoot at them. Looks like it didn't really work out. Ah, lousy shot. Okay. But as you can see, I prefer to go around the other side. Uh, the reason why is because there's a slope. The enemy tends to stay on their side, so you can safely move towards the center. <coughs> uh, you can see that there's a target uh, in the C6 area that I'm going to probably go after. There he is. And he's gone now. I usually use the auto-aim so that I can shoot as quickly as possible, and then I use the sharpshooter if I need a more accurate shot or if it's a tank that has a sturdier armor. Now you'll notice the location that I chose is the bush over here. It's better to be in the bushes on the other side for the northern team. On the southern, time, southern team you have fewer bushes. It's a good idea to knock the trees down that gives you additional cover. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot down the line over here at any of these tanks like that one. I missed a shot. I was very slow to shoot at him. Looks like he's dead anyway. Obviously these are in the sharpshooter mode. Now I'm backing up because I thought there might be artillery, but there is no artillery in the game. Very important to check to see if there's artillery in the game when the game starts. The score is 10 to 3. It's only been two minutes. Now there's only five tanks left. I can see four tanks on the map. Uh, it's very important to count the number of tanks so you have an idea of where they are. And if you want to get kills, you have to hustle. <coughs> so this is a tank to do it with. You know, I'm going to hustle as much as I can to chase after tanks. You can see I missed a shot, maybe because I paused. I don't know. But I just wasn't fast enough, and somebody else got him. And there's a lot of faster tanks than me. And now the score is 14 to 5. So in a matter of, of seconds... Um, a bunch of tanks died. <coughs> and that's the game. So that was a very quick game. I don't know what caused our team to win. I wasn't paying attention to the overall strategy of the team, but we did very well. Um, I, I was a little slow to get into my position. By the time I got there, um, our team was just cleaning up on the enemy. Uh, we did have some targets, and I missed the opportunity to go after them. Every one of the targets that I missed, it was I missed it just by a split second. Uh, but that just shows you um, a little bit about the game. It was a quick game. The score was, whatever, 15 to um, 5. Uh, this isn't the fastest game I've had, but it's one of the fastest. It was under 3 minutes. I've had games where we won in a few minutes 0 to 0 by capping. I've done that twice. Um, I've had a couple of games 15 to 0. So this is one of the quicker games. I haven't